So my voice is very low. I think you can be I think was um, myself. Okay, fine. Let's move on to how you can recognize this this element. Right? If you write this. So, uh, for example, if I write like this, link text, if you write, what will happen? It will identify the which is the first one. Even the duplicates are there. Which is the first one it will identify? Suppose, uh, let us let me write uh, link text, link equal to learning. Okay. So, what is happening? You observe this. I don't know where is it is identifying, but somewhere it is identifying. But it's not identifying the required one. That's a problem. That's why you should not use link. It is recognizing, but I don't know where it is recognizing. Somewhere in the top, it is recognizing where our learning is there on the top. Okay, so that's the problem. But in the XPath, if you write, for example, I, I'll write XPath with this. See. So how do I identify this element? Let's see. So what is going to happen? See, I, I will identify this. Uh, I'm, I'm identifying this is my parent tag. This is my parent tag, that is A, learning. You can see here, A tag, learning. And uh, this one, it starts with U, so A above L A tag. L A above U L tag, but this U L doesn't have an attribute. Then how can you move it? Just go one level up, right? From here also, if you don't have, go one level up. That is div, from here you can start it. So from here you can start. So div, you have a class. Okay, this class you can take, then you can drill down, right? Come down, you can traverse down. So I'm going to use that. Uh, let's see how it is going to work out. So double forward slash uh, do tag. So do tag. Square bracket. So if you want shortcut, you can shortcut. Otherwise, I am writing a complete one. Class equal to the class value. The class value is uh, this one. Take this. Full. You have to take full. Because we, we didn't use contents. That's why you have to use full. And then, so div after what is the immediate tag? You can skip this inner one. Not required. You can uh, div after you can come to this bullet. So the bullet, next bullet is in the UL. So you can go to UL. So next immediate tag I have written UL. UL after LI, but which LI you want. So you count that. So one, two, three, fourth LI. Fourth LI, put that in the square bracket. LI4 slash A. But see, you are identifying this one, right? This one. But which one it is going to identify? Just observe that. Which one? General section press it is identifying. That's wrong, right? But you want this learning, but it is identifying general section press. That means your expert is correct, eh? wrong. It's wrong, obviously. You want this learning to identify, but it is recognizing press. What is the reason? The structure is similar. Every section has a div UL. So for this such cases, this div of above one more div might be there. So you have to count all of them. So see that. Can you see this? This above also, this is the top. See when you put a cursor here, See, all four sections are highlighted. That's the parent. 
from that parent you have to come down now so from this parent you have to come okay this 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 parent you drill down now now you can identify them. see when you put a cursor in this div it is identifying all four then if you put a first div this div inside next div first first uh, section second div represent the second section third div will represent the third section so third div you want ul structure so that's how you need to come. So I'm going to write, but this, this div class is a very big one. See, can you see? I cannot write that much big. That's why you have to use a contains. You want to shortcut any attribute values or a dynamic values. And this is the one of the uh, contains formula is very, very helpful. So I'm going to write a simple div contains. bracket so at the rate class if you use a contains you should not use equal to remember that you should not use equal to contains formula contains formula you write so in the contains i will write a parent w hyphen full flex i'll write, just write only partial one I'll write. Or you can just write a um, little bit. So this little bit I'll write. I don't want to write a very big one. So that's the beauty of this contains. But this single quote after one more bracket, the round bracket has to close, right? Close that round bracket. Close the square bracket. Then, so after this parent div, div three you want. So you have to write a div1, div2, div3. So you have to write a div here. So forward slash div square bracket 3 forward slash. So U L L I 4 A. Now it will recognize exactly which one you want. See that? Now it will recognize exactly L I 4. Third section. So because you are telling here div 3. Div 3, you are telling very clearly. Div 3, UL structure you are giving. So that, that is how you need to write the X path, the uh, complete thing. So that it will identify uh, from div and this value, then div, then UL, LI4, A. So practice this, all these things, and that will help you a lot. Okay? Any questions? Okay, so fine. So now let's move on to the few more. For example, you want to identify elements with a single attribute. So what is the formula? So this is the one. So single attribute you want to use. And this one you can use double forward slash tag name square bracket at the rate attribute name equal to attribute value. So are multiple attributes you want to use? double forward slash tag name square bracket at the rate attribute name equal to single quote 
attribute value and r any one you can use and means both should be there r means single one okay so let me write one of them using this formula so here this i will take it so input tag so i can take a name okay or id or uh, you can take a data test id another attribute you can take any attribute that's the meaning of this formula this formula any attribute that's why i have written a generic formula attribute name and single quote attribute value so any attribute you can use so that one i'll write the remaining you can practice double forward slash input tag square bracket at the rate so i'll take this one id or name so let use name equal to what is the name value just copy from here that's it so that's it see how is r you can write with a star also double forward slash star square bracket at the rate uh, data this this attribute i'm taking data iphone test id so data iphone test id data iphone test id equal to single quote that value what is the value Riley email that's it any attribute you can use so that's the beauty of this uh, you know x path see it will recognize so like that you can write any of the elements using this single attribute and value so let me try this one the a tag you can use a data test study they provided see all other not good but data test study is proper you can try using a tag and this one okay so i'll stop here and we'll continue from tomorrow onwards okay just please practice on different websites and try it out okay